Welcome to the No Spin News. Monday, March 18th, 2024. Stand up for your country. Remember the old adage, honesty is the best policy? Well, that's gone, not only in America, but all over the world, especially if politics or money is involved. So we're going to prove that. We're going to prove that deceit is ruling in the political arena in the USA. And, you know, money is taken for granted. Uh, And I'll get to that some other time when there's a big financial story in play. But today, the Talking Points memo deals with the presidential election and how honest reporting is vanishing right before our eyes. So we begin on Saturday, March 16th. All right. Donald Trump, Dayton, Ohio. He gives a rally. He speaks for more than 90 minutes. Now, when you speak that long, that's not a written speech. He's riffing. And whenever Donald Trump riffs, trouble follows. It's, you know, very similar. Trump knows what he's saying, but he gets carried away because the MAGA people are in the crowd. And it's like, a, I said, a heavy metal uh, concert. Biden doesn't know what he's saying. So when he goes and starts to riff, it, it gets crazy. But in both cases, it brings grief to both candidates. So the first manufactured controversy has to do with Trump telling the crowd that automobiles are now being heavily manufactured in both China and Mexico, and that is hurting the American vehicle industry. Roll the tape. We're going to put a 100 percent tariff on every single car that comes across the line. And you're not going to be able to sell those cars if I get elected. Now, if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath for the whole. That's going to be the least of it. It's going to be a bloodbath for the country. That'll be the least of it. But they're not going to sell those cars. Okay, so bloodbath, economic bloodbath for the country. All right. That's the context of the remark. If you cared to know about the context, which the hate Trumpers don't. And we all know that, but it gets really egregious. So Nancy Pelosi didn't see the speech. I can guarantee you she didn't see the speech, but he told her something. So she goes on CNN, roll it. We just have to win this election because he's even predicting a bloodbath. What does that mean? He's going to exact a bloodbath? There's something wrong here. How um, respectful I am of the American people and their goodness. But how much more do they have to see from him to understand that this isn't what our country is about? Praising Hitler, praising the Russians. Okay, praising Hitler. You know, but Pelosi makes no attempt, all right, to know anything. And she's a propagandist. Now, you can make an argument, and there's some validity to it, that the right and the Republican parties do this as well. But I'm going to tell you something. If they distort a Biden speech like they just distorted a Trump speech, I will report it to you. I know there are propagandists on both sides, but now this is an industry. The hate Trump movement is an industry, and it is enabled by the networks. So here are uh, the press outlets that took the bloodbath comment out of context, okay? Mediaite, the Associated Press, Drudge, CNBC, NPR, The Guardian, NBC News, Politico, CNN, The Hill, The Daily Beast, The Economic Times, CBS News, USA Today, LA Times, New York Times, Newsweek, Rolling Stone, Telegraph, Independent, USA Today, MSNBC, Washington Post. They all took the bloodbath headline and took it out of context to tell the American public, hey, Trump is threatening violence. That's what they did. Okay? So, I mean, it's beyond dishonesty. That wasn't all. All right, same speech, Dayton, Ohio. Trump addresses illegal 
migrants who commit heinous crimes, not only in America when they get here, but in their home countries. Roll it. If I had prisons that were teeming with MS-13 and all sorts of people that they've got to take care of for the next 50 years, right? Young people, they're in jail for years. And if you call them people, I don't know if you call them people. In some cases, they're not people, in my opinion. But I'm not allowed to say that because the radical left says that's a terrible thing to say. They say you have to vote against him because did you hear what he said about humanity? I've seen the humanity and these humanity, these are bad. These are animals, okay? All right. So I kind of agree with that. MSN 13, the El Salvadoran gang, is heavily here on Long Island, committing murder, mayhem, drug dealing, you name it, extortion. Uh, In their own country, El Salvador, the president there has had to declare martial law and suspend all uh, due process to attack those gangs. These are really like the Mexican drug cartels. So Trump uses hyperbole, but it's not inaccurate. All right. Former Biden spokesperson Jen Psaki now works for MSNBC. Go. The full context is that he went on to say some undocumented immigrants are, quote, not people. And of course, the full context is that this is much bigger than one single speech. Well, if you're expecting any kind of honesty from that woman, then what can I say? You're not going to get it. She's a propagandist, just like Pelosi. But, you know, it just rankles me that NBC News and CNN enable this kind of blatant dishonesty. Here are the media outlets that condemn Trump for condemning violent migrants. NPR. The Guardian, The Atlantic, Rolling Stone, Politico, CNN, The Hill, The Daily Beast, The New York Times, USA Today, MSNBC, The Washington Post, The Huffington Post. You sense a pattern in behavior here? (laughs) Jeez. All right. The good news is that most Americans know the fix is in. They know. So if you are watching MSNBC or CNN or reading The Washington Post and The New York Times, you already hate Trump. You want to hate him more? Just watch those vehicles. Now, I'm not in business to stick up for Trump. It's not what this Talking Points memo is all about. This is to just demonstrate once again the blatant dishonesty of the media in America, a media that has special protections under the Constitution. It's supposed to be delivering honest information to you so you can make informed judgments and decisions. That's gone. Vanished. That's why you're here listening and watching me this evening. All right. Once again, if Biden gets attacked that way by the right or the Republicans or whatever, I, I'm on it. And that's a memo. Uh, President Biden today did nothing as always. Uh, and I shouldn't say it always. That's not fair. Let's just say as usual. All right. He had some meeting uh, about Women's History Month and then uh, he got a briefing or something. OK, so I'm sure you get the picture. Do you want me to stop giving you the briefing uh, every day on on President Biden? I will. I mean, I've been doing it for, what, two years now? And it's the same thing. He doesn't do much work. But I'll stop it if if you think it's repetitive, all right? Bill at BillOReilly.com, Bill at BillOReilly.com, name in town, please. And if I get a bunch of letters that say, look, it's a waste of time, we got it, then I'll stop it. I don't want to waste your time. Um... The Biden campaign has amassed $155 million in campaign donations directly and through their political action committees. Trump campaign is $40 million. Now, that'll change. Um, a lot of the money that were uh, donated to the Trump political action committees went to pay Trump's lawyers. About $100 million that Trump's going to have to pay lawyers to defend him. And they you can use political action committee money to pay that. And that's what he's doing at this point. But I, I think at the end of the campaign in eight months, the donations will be about even. Now, it's the progressive left that's really funneling the big money into Biden because they know if Trump wins, the progressive movement is done, at least for four years, finished. And they have their guy. 
Okay, Biden does whatever the progressive movement wants him to do. They have him and they want to keep him. They don't care how old he is. He could be dead. Okay, weekend at Bernie's. As you know, Mike Lindell has a passion to help you get the best sleep of your life. His famous Giza Dream Sheets are the best sheets you will ever sleep on. For a limited time, get a queen size set for $59.98. King size, just $69.98. These are the lowest prices in my pillow's history. Mike and my pillow employees continue to be canceled by some big box stores and attacked by the media. They appreciate your great support during these times and want to thank you by giving you free shipping on your entire order today. So please go to MyPillow.com or call 800-869-0298. Use promo code Bill. You get the famous Giza Dream Sheets at the lowest prices, so call 800-869-0298. Go to MyPillow.com, promo code Bill, to get free shipping today. All right, let's go to the mail. We got Mary Altoro, Norwalk, Connecticut. Bill, you say Biden doesn't work because he doesn't care about anything. Why don't we ever hear about who is really running the White House? I've done this, Mary, a number of times. I'm going to do it one more time for you especially. All right, the chief of staff in the Biden White House, the man named Jeff Zients, Z-I-E-N-T-S. Have you ever heard of him? No. Nobody's ever heard of him. Top counsel is Ed Ziskel, S-I-S-K-E-L. And the head of the communications department is Ben LaBolt. Those are the three inside the White House, in the West Wing, that have the most power. And nobody knows anything about them. They are not public in any way. You never hear from them. But they have the power. And outside, Jeffrey Katzenberg, the Hollywood mogul, huge power. Bernie Sanders, the communist senator from Vermont, big power. And there's Biden, and he listens to all this. But the most powerful person is Jill Biden. There you go. Not going to do it again. John Fox, Ashboro, North Carolina, why can't you, O'Reilly, make the case that Joe Biden is a tax cheat? He's the big guy. Uh, how can I make the case? I don't have subpoena power. I don't know his banking things. That's for the Justice Department and Congress to do. How, how could I do it? I mean, you say he's a tax cheat. Okay, that's your opinion. If you have some documentation, pass it along to me. I can't just do it out of thin air. Kennedy Daniels, Mechanicsville, Virginia. Illegal migrants will mostly be unable to vote, but their American-born children will. Correct. Absolutely correct. Ben Mitchell, Westchester, Pennsylvania. Do you agree with Donald Trump when he says he's going to free the January 6th rioters? He will pardon some of them if reelected. I don't know how many. I hope he goes over the individual cases, but I am sure some pardons will be issued. Maud Tank, Plainview, Plainwell, Michigan. Love the No Spin News. Just finished Killing the Witches. It was a great read. Waiting for Killing Kennedy to arrive. You're going to like that, Maud. My question, is Fannie Willis still in the case of Trump? Yes, she is. How can she be fair and partial? No prosecutors are fair and partial. Prosecutors want to put you in jail. They're not fair and partial. The jury is supposed to be. The judge is supposed to be, but not the prosecutors. John Walker, Willoughby, Ohio. Looks like we need to add one name to the list of voters who will not vote for the good of the country, but their petty, selfish ego, that would be Mike Pence. Pretty hard on... uh, Vice President Pence, he'll vote for Trump. I'm pretty confident of that. Uh, Brent, concierge member, we hope you check out concierge membership. Very important for you. An insurance policy for your life at a very, very low price. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm helping people every day. 
and some, there's going to be something bad come down the line. You're going to need some advice. Okay, Brent says, I think the totality of evidence over the last eight years supports everything you say in your column, TV conspiracy. The media has become corrupt and nothing more than a propaganda organ for the Democratic Party and promoters of world culture. 100% right, Brent. And I hope everybody reads my column. We broke yesterday about uh, conspiracy TV is the name of the column. And there is a conspiracy. And I tell you what it is. And nobody could say I was wrong. Nobody on the planet. That's why you should read it. Michael, concierge member, thank goodness for streaming, which allows people not to watch the corrupt corporate media. Okay. I like choices. Mark, concierge member, three in a row. Thank you. Adoption is a alternative to abortion. I was one of the lucky ones. Adopted in 1955 by a Navy chief petty officer. I did not know who my birth mother was until after she died in 2005. She gave me a chance at life with personal sacrifice to allow adoption through the Virginia agencies. Well, Mark, I'm very pleased that you wrote your personal story to us. I don't know why the United States government isn't promoting adoption. We don't hear much about it. I'm glad you're on a planet. Patrick Wilkins, Vestavia Hills, Alabama. My company made me sit through training last week, which included DEI. It was hard to stay quiet. Now they make, make me sign a pledge. I wouldn't sign anything. They, they can make you sit through the DEI. But I wouldn't sign anything. I don't think they're going to make you do that. If they do, you tell me right away. Right away, you tell me. And I'll make it a story. Brian Galaccio, New Braunfels, Texas, in the Hill Country. Hey, Bill, what's a smart life tip for living in a socialist country? Don't. You won't like it. Ivy Jean Sky Eagle, Arlington, Texas. I love your message of the day. It's the first thing I read every morning. Ivy, thank you. Okay, go to BillOReilly.com uh, store. And we got the new coffee mugs, which are message mugs. Okay? Self-reliance is the first one up. Now tomorrow on Smart Life, I'm gonna tell you why we're doing this. Okay, why are we doing it? What's self-reliance? Why, what is this? There's something important behind it. So that'll be in Smart Life tomorrow. Confronting the President, September 10th, my birthday. Book comes out, that's just a coincidence. Um, I think it's the most important history book we've, we've written, Bugard and I. If you're going to pre-order, we will not bill you until we ship, but it's going to be huge. It's going to be a huge book. Killing Crazy Horse. Pretty tough read, but something you should know. Okay, $12.95. That's it. Hardcover back. It's a great deal. Word of the day, do not be polrumptious. <laughs> great word. P-O-L-L-R-U-M-P. T-I-O-U-S. Do not be Paul Rumpches from writing to me, Bill at BillOReilly.com. Bill at BillOReilly.com. Name in town if you wish to opine. Final thought on Jesus in a moment. The Tunnel to Towers Foundation supports America's greatest heroes, U.S. service members, and first responders who gave their lives. Those catastrophically injured in the line of duty and homeless vets. The Foundation's gold star, Fallen First Responder and Homeless Vet Programs, honor the sacrifices made by men who fought and died for us and women who risked their lives for our country as well. The Foundation's Never Forget program engages people in 9-11 remembrances across America with more than 80 runs, walks, and dozens of golf outings every year. The Tunnel of Towers 9-11 Institute educates kids from kindergarten through 12th grade about America's darkest day while helping our nation keep its vow to never forget. So please support Tunnel to Towers. Donate $11 a month. Tunnel to Towers at T2T.org. More than 95 cents of every dollar you donate to Tunnel to Towers goes to its programs. That's T, the number two, another T, Dot org. Everything is expensive these days, you know that. 
The government is printing trillions of dollars in consumer prices higher than ever. If the government continues its printing and spending, the dollar could continue its free fall and lose its coveted role as the world reserve currency. Let's hope that doesn't happen. But there are a few things you can do right now. American Hartford Gold can show you how to protect your money, your retirement, your hard-earned savings against inflation by helping you diversify a portion of your portfolio into physical gold and silver. Start with a short phone call, and they can have physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or put inside your 401k or IRA. So please call or text them right now. Tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you. Call 877-444-GOLD, 877-444-GOLD, or text GOLD to 65532. Again, that's 877-444-GOLD, or text GOLD to 65532. Okay, so uh, as you know, Easter and Passover quickly coming up. And uh, look, a lot of people who are secular people in this country, and they don't know much about the Nazarene. That's why I wrote Killing Jesus. And it's a fascinating, it was a fascinating book for me to write. Huge worldwide bestseller. I mean, they published this book in China, communist China. It went everywhere in the world. There is a movie, you might have seen it, okay, made years ago. You can see that movie on pay-per-view. It's easy. I think it's three ninety-five or something like that. Roll a clip. I was the executive producer on that movie. We shot it in Morocco. It's an excellent film. And perfect for uh, Holy Week next week and Passover. Uh, the history is flawless. It's flawless right down. It's not a religious movie. Okay? No miracles or anything like that. It's history. And uh, the book and the movie will prepare you. And I think you'll find it very relevant, uh, particularly uh, in the secular age in uh, which we live, where, you know, Christianity, Judaism, the only religion that isn't failing worldwide is Islam. And that's because the governments impose it. And it's very fascinating. It's interesting. The free governments that we have in the West, they don't impose religion. You know that. All right, it's secularism across the board. In fact, they don't like religion. They don't. They don't respect it because it limits uh, reproductive freedom, for example. A lot of Christian sects oppose that. They don't oppose freedom. They oppose abortion. And that's terrible for the seculars. But in the Islamic world, if you deviate from Islam, all right, you can get killed. All right. So obviously that religion is stable in its membership. But here in the United States, the graph is like this. And it weakens the country. It really does. I mean, if you believe it's only you, it's only about you from birth to death, nothing else in this whole universe. It's you and your desires and wishes only. That changes stuff, changes it big time. Something to think about as Easter and Passover uh, approach. And again, we uh, recommend uh, Killing uh, Jesus, the book and uh, the movie. And let me know if you haven't seen it or you haven't read the book and you, and you pick them up, let me know what you think. Okay, Bill at BillOReilly.com. Thank you for watching and listening to the No Spin News. We'll see you again tomorrow. Thank you for watching the No Spin News. To watch the full episode anytime on BillOReilly.com, please sign up to become a premium or concierge member. Visit BillOReilly.com to sign up and start watching today.